Who am I? Um, Meet Ishita Khaitan, a 23-year-old student who came to study in Australia six years ago. Um, so I work in consulting. I'm also studying at the moment. But just a bit of history. So I came here to Australia back, like a few years back when I was 17. Um, and yeah, I just like absolutely love the country um, and I love the people here. So yeah, I decided to stay on and yeah, I've just been like pursuing different things and I just love trying new things. And this is her business partner, Liz Lakaba. I was born in Australia, so born and raised. I've done all my schooling and studies here. Um, I'm a marketer by day. And uh, by night, I am working on Muchi Merch or studying my masters. The one thing they share in common, their love for Indian culture. Yeah, so um, I think uh, I really enjoy uh, Indian culture and Ishita and I are friends. So we met probably about three and a half, four years ago now. And we it's bonded. It's a lot longer though, Liz. It does feel a lot longer, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but let's say it's a good thing. <laughs> when they met and became friends, they did not imagine that they would one day become business partners as well. They started a company, Mirchi Much. One of Ishita's uh, relatives um, actually knows someone back in India who uh, is really very ill. Um, as a result of COVID-related uh, complications. Uh, and there was a, a charity initiative raised to, to raise money to help support his, his treatment. Um, and what we were doing was creating little gift cards that we were hand drawing and selling to people to raise money um, to help fund his treatment. It kind of just came from there. We weren't really thinking about um, starting a business at all. Uh, we just uh, both have um, you know, a bit of a creative streak and we like to draw, paint, um, write poems. So we bond over that as well. And uh, the idea to start a business actually came from family and friends. Ishita and Liz design t-shirts, get them made in India and sell them in Australia. They have just started. So we do all the designing in-house ourselves. So they're all original creative uh, creations made by us in Australia, obviously reflecting, you know, the, the unique, um, unique Indian culture. And um, we have found a great supply partner over in India who will um, produce the t-shirts for us um, and print the graphics and then ship them over to us. Many others do that. So what's so special about it? And is importing t-shirts from India and selling in Australia economically viable? Don't most others import their goods from China? I'm an accountant, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely did think of that as well. But China is great if you're doing larger volumes. And because we are starting off as a very small business, we wanted to test the market before we actually invested that large amount of money as well. Which is why India was more feasible from that sort of shipping point of view. Yes, production in China is a lot cheaper, but shipping would be very expensive if you don't have larger volumes. And I think the other thing that's kind of um, close to our hearts too is, you know, we really wanted um, the t-shirts to come from from India. Um, we did we did kind of explore the China path, as as Ishita said, but um, it didn't. I mean, it didn't work from a financial standpoint, but it also didn't kind of align with with um, our values as well. A girl of Italian heritage joining hands with an Indian girl to create something for the Australians. An Indian origin girl partnering with a girl of Italian parentage to bring a piece of India to Australia. Perhaps that is what makes Australia the world's most successful multicultural society.